There are between 850 and 900 different tick species in the world. In South Africa alone, we have approximately 80 species on domestic animals and wildlife. And ticks are classified as, as, classified as single or one host ticks, two host ticks and three host ticks. The most important one obviously is the, the one host tick, the blue tick, which is from an economic point of view, the most important one to our farmers because of the resistance that they have developed against the carasites that pharmaceutical companies develop. Apart from the damage that ticks cause to the hide of animals, they also cause damage to the teats and the udders, and also they cause anemia because of the blood they suck. Ticks are also responsible for transmission of tick-borne diseases, like red water, heart water and gall sickness, which are very important in South Africa. It's of utmost importance that farmers understand and know the life cycle of ticks. They must also know which species are present on their farms. And the reason behind that is, is that they can only manage and control ticks if they know the life cycle of these parasites. No attempt must be made to eradicate ticks because we have seen over the last 30 to 40 years how especially blue ticks developed resistance to their carasites. We have all the tools to help a farmer with rotational grazing, management and the carasites that we develop to help them to manage and control ticks to prevent severe losses on the farm. Now I'm now going to explain to you the life cycle of the blue tick. Optimal conditions for ticks to breed are 27 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees and 80% humidity plus minus 5%. Engorged females from the blue tick after feeding on the animal will drop off from the animal and end up on the ground or on the pastures and they will um, be protected in places like cracks and crevices under the soil surface etc to prevent them from uh, from extreme heat or cold and desiccation. These females will under optimal conditions start laying eggs within 72 hours and this egg laying will continue for a period of approximately three weeks. After three weeks um, the larvae, six-legged larvae will hatch and this uh, hatching process lasts another approximately three weeks. The larvae will move to the nearest piece of grass where they will wait for a host. They are attracted by carbon dioxide and body heat from the host and they will climb onto the host and start feeding immediately. First attached by piercing through the epidermis and they will feed for seven days when they are engorged. After engorgement they will molt on the same animal and develop into eight-legged nymphae and these nymphae will feed for seven days when they molt without leaving the animal and develop into male and female ticks. The female ticks will feed for seven days when they are engorged again and then they will drop off, lay eggs and the next generation of larvae will develop. The females lay between two and a half and three and a half thousand eggs. The male ticks, they take small amounts of blood, they stay on the animal and they will mate with several females. They may even leave the host to go and find females on another host. Blue ticks are found on cattle, horses, uh, under normal circumstances and some wildlife species, but normally do not feed on other domestic animals like dogs and cats. From this life cycle, it is very clear that from the moment that the animal is infested with tick larvae, it takes 21 days before we notice the first engorged females.